When I first started on the mortuary service back in the early 1980s, it was apparent that corruption was widespread across the whole of the country. I had colleagues who were stealing money from bodies. I had other colleagues who were selling eyes to specialists in Harley Street, sending brains to medical schools and organs being harvested. The reason corruption was so generic, it was very profitable. On my first day of duty, I was offered thousands of pounds to keep my mouth and my eyes shut. My deputy and his assistant both offered me bribes. My difficulty was I did not know how high up the chain the corruption went. So I laid traps and I secretly and covertly recorded these people on the conversations. I searched desks and bins and eventually I got to the stage where Scotland Yard were called in and I worked alongside them to expose the corruption. I appeared as a main witness at Southwark Crown Court and I was in the witness box for two days. To my horror, on the first day that evening, I was headline news on News at 10 and all the radio and television channels. I think what probably helped the matter to get into the press was that in court, I had actually said that the dead do not rest in peace, but in pieces. I was named the rat catcher by my colleagues. I had death threats from coroner's officers and the whole thing became a nightmare, not only for me, but for my family. My name is Peter Everett, and I am the author of Corrupt Bodies. By the late 1980s, we got it under control, and at long last, the dead could rest in peace.